Hey there for the puppets. What? Oh my god. I, I'm just looking in the background. There's so many details in the foreground and the background. But first, is this another Robin is the leader, which means that everybody should do what he says kind of episode. Is this going to be a Robin is crazy episode? But in the back, you see the TTG poster, a bunch of realistic photos with like the Teen Titans face over it. Like next to Cyborg is a green child. And then we see like a picture of Raven below Robin, who just looks like a normal person. Also in the foreground, we see a PlayStation 2 controller, I believe. A sock, a CD, and some DC comics. The, the, the detail in this show is amazing. Even though they make fun of a lot of things, there is a lot of attention to detail here. Beast Boy, make me a sandwich now. Sir, yes, sir. Wow. Leader, sir. Cyborg, foot massage. The green cat, too. Anything you want, Mr. Leader Guy. I love the green cat as well. Organize the DVDs. Oh. I love doing your bidding, oh glorious <laughs> leader of ours. <laughs> I mean, in, in a way, he's got the voices down pat. Also, the picture of the realistic looking Robin, though. But yeah, the whole, oh, yes, anything you say, my, and then the whole booyah, and then like Beast Boy's voice. But what about Starfire, though? When does she drop in? Dang, that sandwich looked good, but... Come here to me. Oh. Oh, Robin. Puppet time, we'll have to wait. It's fitness time. Oh, before, before we continue, I love that when the puppets were kissing, you literally just hear, like, the, the puppets clacking about, basically. Oh, yeah. When you look at the puppet background versus this background, it's completely the same thing. The comics on the floor, the sock, the CD, the game controller, but in the puppet, on the puppet set, it's a PlayStation controller. In the background, the posters are the same, just not realistic humans, I guess. Okay, Titans, day one of our new fitness regimen. Time for a run. You, 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 you think they want to do that? Can't you see we're relaxing? That's pretty much every episode. And I say we go for a run. You're our leader on missions, not around the house. Oh, wait, why, why did Raven move away like a freaking Jetsons thing? But yeah, Robin. We, we have gone through this whole season. You think they will listen to you now? Hey, this is a command. <laughs> oh, what are they watching? Tell me a joke, what? Beatbox. When they get a TV show? Th that's the show. <laughs> I will listen to you, Robin. Phew. After I am finished reading the magazine. Oh, Robin doesn't want to wait for you to finish D magazine. It is literally. D magazine. So I take it he loves his per his puppet personas more because you know because even though he's the one controlling them, they listen to him. Versus here, they never listen to him. Uh oh. You guys never listen to me. Robin Earthquake. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Robin was about to be a furry for a second. He was just barking out. He was about to bark out some orders right there. Also, I love that even though they know that Robin gets crazy, they never change at least a little bit for him. They're like, oh, we'll do what we want. When Robin, get, when Robin gets crazy, we'll deal with it somehow. He's gonna blow. Oh. <laughs> uh. Huh? He did not do the flip out. He started walking away with that xylophone sound. Calm down. Calm down. Keep it together, Robin. Go to your happy place. Oh. I am the leader of the Titans. So I take it that I hope he went to therapy and hopefully the therapist said, hey, you need to find your happy place. 
find a way to express your anger, but not on the Titans, because if he didn't have the puppet, you know what would he have, what he would he have, you know what he would have done? Staff meeting, staff meeting, staff meeting. But nope, he's he's got his puppets. How is he holding all of them up, by the way? Oh! Okay, why are we focusing on that area, Robin, huh? Even on your puppet persona, we gotta be focusing on these things. I mean, at least he's not in his speedos talking about cutting diamonds with his freaking hard thighs or abs or whatever, but this is ridiculous. I love it. Lean into it. Lean into it. Shake it out. Shake it out. <laughs> Cyborg, work those Let me hear some metal clanging. Dang. For free, Cyborg? Yes, sir, Robin, sir. Whatever you say, dude. feel so much better. One thing I do love is that it's the it's Robin's voice actor voice acting as the other Titans, right? So basically it's Robin pretending to be Beast Boy, Robin pretending to be Starfire, Cyborg, Raven, all that stuff right there. And then Robin pretending to be Robin. Yeah, this is wacky. I love it. I love it when voice actors try to play the other characters in their own way. So basically it's Robin pretending to be somebody else. You're putting on a voice on top of a voice. It is really impressive how they do that. Oh! Dude, oh! That is weird. <laughs> How'd they get it? <laughs> they were no. watching the whole time. Whoa. Is that me? I'm super handsome. <laughs> Where did you get the little wooden people, Robin? Also, what I do love, so. I know that basically Teen Titans Go is basically a smaller version of Teen Titans. The characters are cheapified, right? They're like smaller, cuter look, you know, more rounded out basically. And then you have the puppet versions, which is basically, oh my goodness, you know what this is? Teen Titans Go, just Teen Titans Go themselves. Robin just made Teen Titans Go of Teen Titans Go. How further can we get in? How many more Teen Titans Go can we get in? Will the puppet personas have their own puppet personas? Will we get further? Will this be a popception? <sighs> They're here to help you deal with stress, aren't they? Oh. Uh, well, super weird. Oh, that is not a good. Oh. This is the craziest I've seen him yet. Look, he's about to go ballistic, but he has his puppets to make him feel better. I, I, oh, wow. <laughs> oh. Oh my goodness. If they, oh, good boy. Ro oh no. That oh, and they just shoved him out the way. What are you doing? <laughs> Why? Why did Robin have Beast Boy rub his belly like he's a good like this is that, that like even if the revol even if the roles were reversed, that's still kind of weird, you know. Robin was about to go ballistic and. Does he want Beast Boy to actually do that to him, to rub his belly, call him a good boy and all that stuff? Robin, is there is there something you want to tell us? Also, the way that Starfire just shoved him out the way with one hand, just like, MOVE! Oh, things are about to get a bit more... Oh, they don't know how to use them! Yes, they can. Puppets can do everything. They're the ultimate form of artistic expression. You're just doing it wrong. Ooh. That's the one thing. Puppets are really hard to do unless you know how to use them right. They, you can make them do anything if you know how to work the strings. Basically, to anybody who works with puppets like these with strings and all that stuff, they are such talented people, and they deserve 
a bigger they they need them they need more of a spotlight right there because puppets like that amazing job how you can actually bring them to life with just one hand <laughs> that freaking playstation controller you see that playstation controller <laughs> oh they learning oh not really Yeah, you're definitely popping something right there, but I'm sorry. I can't I can't take my eyes off that PlayStation controller. I'm sh I know they scrubbed away the Sony logo on it and everything, but it's a freaking PlayStation controller. Easy <laughs> peasy. If you would just listen to my orders, you'd learn how to do it right. But they never listen to you. Just make us do what you want. Yeah, there ain't no strings on us, dude. Oh no, why'd you say that? Why did you say that? Oh wait, what? Uh, what are you guys doing? I didn't authorize any- Relax, dude, we're just putting in a new door. The, it, it's, that, that's the window, that, that's our door that leads to- what, what kind of Looney Tunes sketch are we doing here? Where if Robin walks outside and- Oh, there's the ground! Ah! You know, something like that, right? They, so I take it that, so since Beast Boy said that, they're going to do crazy and crazier things until Robin's like, I want you all to be under my control. You know, something like that. Robin's craziness will go to a whole new level. I know, that's the joke. My boy is stressing out. We used it, bro. They used it? I think we left it outside. Oh. Really? I did not just fall for that. Oh, yes, you did. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. I know I freaking crawled that that Robin would go outside and whatnot, but the way they set it up was so funny. Using his craziness to their advantage, basically saying, oh, stage is outside. Whoops. <laughs> they never listen to me. I wish they were more like my puppets. Puppets. puppets, puppets. Nope. Wait, what? Excuse wow. me? Talking sock. That's weird. Wait, no that's weird. Talking sock. I am the all-powerful puppet wizard. Before we continue, why is the puppet so low quality though? It's moving in separate frames like it's just three pictures from Photoshop. Like they just Photoshop three pictures for a, you know, like a picture animation, a stop motion. There we go. Stop motion animation. But you can see the quality on that thing is lower than the show. I love it, though. I love that instead of making a new character, they literally made a sock puppet. Well, I can make it so your Titan friends can be as easily manipulated as your puppets. And all for the low, low price of your immortal soul. What the heck? The zoom in though, when that face was so close up, you can actually just taste the pixels. You can taste the fuzziness in that picture right there. But I really do love that what they have is literally a sock with googly eyes, some pipe, some pipe cleaners, and like, like one pipe cleaner as hair and a hat. I wonder if this was the cheapest character they produced. So instead of drawing frames for a new character, they just used a couple of pictures. I love it. <laughs> and the contract is what? That is bizarre. Whoa! That's right. What have you done, Robin? They actually made real puppets. You'll have to listen to. They look so cool. I love that Beast Boy is using Starfire's word as perambulate, if that even is a word, but I wasn't- They actually made a real 
Teen Titans Go stage with actual puppets and everything. I freaking love that. Did they, I wonder, did they get like actual puppeteers to move them and everything? Because that is awesome. The character, they all look great. I, I'm, I'm just geeking out. I'm just geeking out so hard on this. I wonder if I can still turn into stuff. Okay. Don't. Oh. Okay, guys. It's time to go for Animals on a nice stick. Video. I love that. Whoa. Come on. You're puppets. You're supposed to do as I say. Uh, yeah, but you're a puppet too. Oh, right. Yeah, Robin. I didn't think this through too well. <laughs> Yeah, you got yourself into a situation. You can't control the puppets because you yourself are being controlled as a puppet. So someone is controlling you to control the others and everything. Also, I love the designs. I'm pretty sure Ravens is the easiest. Literally ahead with just the hood and everything. Unless she's got them legs that Beast Boy been drooling over, you know? Clearly, this was a bad idea. So, uh, where's the bathroom? I've really got to go. Um, it's just <laughs> I love how stage. the maps, the mouths move. Does a puppet stage have a kitchen? <laughs> what? Wait, there's a backstage. I love that you can see the backstage right there. Wait, there's real hands. You're going to, oh my, they, they really made, they really try to make this like puppet stage as cheap as it can be. You know, like it's not produced very what like you see the real hands it's just two there's another set of hands on the right side of the elevator if you look at the top there's another set of hands right there there's two there's two sets of hands the backstage the, this is the, i love this so much i'm so hungry bro it's so <laughs> hey, this tv doesn't work these pages are all blank what do you people want from me they're just props i want to be people again you must change us I can't. I sold all of our souls to the puppet wizard. The puppet as easy wizard. as that. Ugh, not the puppet wizard. Of course Robin knows who the puppet I mean, of course Raven knows who the puppet wizard is. It's just funny how, like, anybody else could be like, the puppet wizard? Raven's like, yeah, I hate that wizard. Who's the puppet wizard? Ugh. Since time immemorial, the puppet I love the wizard has ruled over a distant mystical Oh my goodness, the ancient so legends. <laughs> the only way to reclaim one soul is to travel to his kingdom and defeat him in battle before sunset. If we fail, we'll be lifeless marionettes. That is so forever. cool. We know what we have to do. Titans, go! The g <laughs> yeah. The thing is, why would you go to the elevator? That's not how a puppet stage works. Oh my goodness, the, the insane detail with the ancient legends, the whole like backdrops and everything. Even though this puppet stage is supposed to be, you know, quote unquote, like a low effort budget, uh, like a low budget show. It does have insane detail though. I do love how they got the gigantic sofa. Does this thing even work? Here, I got it. The, what's the? That's a real thing. <laughs> oh my goodness, the stick necks. Oh my goodness. I love that this whole time, if you look at the other characters, some of them are, aren't even moving much, like Starfire. She's just gliding about with no movement, while the ones who have to run have to move. Plus, you can see the obvious uh, green screening right behind him. You can see the line around Beast Boy's like puppet Sona with the realistic background. Either that or maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me. Are they using green screen or not? Probably. Dang, they at the club? What were <laughs> That's great. Oh, he's just there. Come to reclaim your souls, I see. So I'm really curious how they're going to deal with the puppet wizard, though. They went all this way and then they're there. But now I'm looking at everybody's backs and you can see like the screw holes and everything. Like Cyborg screws on the back on his back. Starfire's like doll hair and everything. Like there's a lot of detail in these character models. I love it so much. <laughs> Unless. 
pop, pop, pop it, it's like it. Oh, she's earthbending. So that's... <laughs> oh. The green light. Wait, wait, you saw that? You saw the tape on the back. <laughs> I love it, the friggin' pencil wag and everything. Robin can still do his staff meeting with the pencil. Cyborg's tennis ball launcher. The freaking rock. Now, how, like, I wonder how Starfire's energy ball's gonna work. How are they gonna work? Energy, the of oh, it's actual lasers. What? The real hand. Oh, easy as that. <laughs> so you're telling me, Raven, who can do just about anything, can only move a, who can only move a rock, while Starfire's laser attack was the one that actually destroyed the wizard right there. That, that is nuts. That is so nuts right there. Great job, Starfire. Ooh, everything's all colorful again. I miss my people self. Are you people though? To say for yourself, Robin. Oh. This was all my fault. It's just hard to be a leader if nobody listens to you. I'm sorry, guys. Oh. Nah, you were right all along. Booyah! You're kidding me. You're telling me that they just went back home and Robin only said that to his puppet team he didn't actually say that to his actual team that he didn't apologize to his team right there like that whole apology should have been to his team not to his puppet sonas wow of course this is ttg no lessons will be learned uh, most of the time it was all our fault you're a leader we well, should always listen to you bro he blames Starfire. the others Oh my goodness. Yeah. Starfire's still there watching. She's still there watching. <laughs> She's just there flabbergasted, dumbfounded. Oh my goodness. This was such a crazy, but such a creative episode. You know what? I think that this whole, this whole, that this whole thing did not happen. And Robin has just been playing it out on that set the entire time. It was all in his imagination that at the end, they just realized what he did. They watched that whole episode right there in his room. And Robin was just pretty much playing everything out. So that, that's what I take it. I'm pretty sure the events did happen, they did fight the puppet wizard and everything, but another part of me just thinks that this was all in Robin's head and they were just watching him in that room the entire time. That's why they're like, dude's got issues, like, they already said he had issues before. But, yeah, this was another Robin has gone crazy episode, but a very creative one with puppets and everything. The thing is... With the, with the reaction of this episode now done, we are done with season one of Teen Titans Go. We have made it through season one. And I am excited to check out the next season and so on. That, this has been a fun season. I gotta say, the season did start off a bit slow and whatnot, but the further we went on, it seems like the show has found its, it's found itself. It found what it wants to do and it wants to be a, com a comedic parody show. And the joke started hitting, it got funny, and they, like, things started hitting later on. The first few episodes were like, okay, but then later on, I'm like, okay, I want to watch more. I do want to watch more. It's funny. It's insane. I. It's basically my kind of show this way, where it's literally, things are happening every single time, you know? Like, they know what they're doing. Jokes are hitting, comedic actions, some gross out moments but you know what i mean it's been enjoyable and i'm looking forward to checking out season two next time if you enjoyed this as by the way to the people who did the puppets 
great job. The puppets look great. The, like I said, creative episode. I love it. Hope you did as well. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you didn't. Leave a comment down below about what you think. Who's your favorite puppet? That's your. That's my question to you. I'll catch you next time on Teen Titans Go Season Two.